technique and the jab as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC! Heavyweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place for you. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Good stick. Punch coming, it's blocked. up into the target. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. 
how good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> and they separate. Out of range with that one. And he landed the right hand there. Nice slip to avoid the left. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he connects there. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Lands the right hand. That's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Yeah. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And there's another takedown attempt. Oh, single collar tie here. Good punch land. Liver kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the action. Right there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Checks the leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Now a kick to the body. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. 
spinning back fist. He's throwing every part of himself and hitting big leg kicks. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. But even as the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip the head out of the snow. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Great punch. Slips. Oh, slips his head and counters with a hook. Nice job by Lou. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, big punch land. Big leg kick land. Oh, big head kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And a nice strip jab there. Superman punch now. Real quick leg kick. Nice straight punch. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got to hurt very bad. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see 
as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking the damage of strikes up top. Throws the right hand there. Look at the force behind that leg. Back and forth we go here! Effective strike there by Lee. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Right punches there. How about that chin? Oh, big right hand, yes. Missed with that attempt. Big body land. Straight right is there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Three minutes remain in the round. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant you cannot allow that to get hit anymore. Right. Because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, big head kick land. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. That's a big strike right there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Got clip with the right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just misses with the straight left hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Ooh, what a punch. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significance. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. Thought he was going low. Looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. 
the kick. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Waiting seconds here of round number three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch, Lance. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Clean left punch followed by the right. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Oh, crisp boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful hit. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of us are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, hurt. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he's up. But he is hoping for sure the finish could come at any time. Three minutes to go. Lee gets lit up by that uppercut. Another good stick to the head. So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Bing has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 13 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO! Ruth, the Dragon Lee! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends. 